We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming with this special report. There is evidence of an escapee from the Sunset Ridge Mental Hospital for the criminally insane. Officials say that a guard was found dead near the escaped convict cell. There is no more information about the guard or the identity of the patient at this time. We here at the Mount 83.5 will keep you posted. Until then, keep your doors locked and stay tuned. We now return to our top 20 countdown. Excuse me, miss. My car broke down. I was wondering if I could use your phone. Don't you have a cell phone? I'm a reception. I just need to call a tow truck. It'll only be a minute. I understand. I have an old 98 Sunfire. It breaks down all the time. It's not to bypass introductions. My name is Michael. Michael G. Scala. I'm Megan Marie Oxman. Stay there. Smells delicious. What are we having? We're not having anything. I'm having stir fry. So how is it a pretty girl like you has nobody to eat with? I have primetime television to keep me company. What could you possibly be watching on primetime TV? Wait, let me guess. Survivor. Now what's wrong with Survivor? Do you really think that your true instincts for survival would surface on a scripted reality show? Besides, I can think of other ways to truly experience survival. I don't care. I've missed the past two seasons, and I don't plan on missing this one. Well, I wouldn't want to ruin anything for you. Just make the call. As long as you'll have dinner with me tonight. Mr. Scala, just make the call, or I'll have my boyfriend come over, and I'm sure he wouldn't be pleased to see you. Well, I guess I better make my phone call, then. Uh, yes. Uh, my car broke down in front of... Hey babe, what's your address? Um, 900 Bridal Gate? Poor thing so flustered she doesn't even know her own address. Yes, yeah, uh, 506 Franklin? Alright. Thank you. Yep, see you in a bit. Bye. Hey honey, I know you live at 506 Franklin. Officials are now saying the escape patient is a female in her 20s named Shelly Sharp. She was convicted way back in 2006 of killing her neighbors. 